Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimme Camper. You know how they always say, when you go to look at your water damage, just be prepared to see more? I can tell you, that's true. So we've had a bunch of curveballs with this project. Um, should have been done by now. I only had three videos planned. Now it's four or five. If you hadn't watched the first two, then go back and watch them. The first one was just kind of overview of the project. The second one is um, how I fix the roof. Again, guys, I'm not a professional. This is just me with what skills I know, looking at things and, and trying to fix this myself. I've made some mistakes, and that'll be on the next video. I've had to go back and redo stuff that I just should have done more research on. But anyway... So today's video is about fixing some mild delamination. Um, not like this, where the fiberglass just kind of fell off when I was going to try to fix it. That's one of our curveballs. Um, but, you know, w when I did that and I took that trim off, basically the front corner on the side was loose for a couple of feet there. I used some epoxy and glued that back on and it's holding up fairly well. Now the epoxy that I used was just a general epoxy that I found on Amazon. It wasn't cheap. It had a cure time of two days, which I thought would be good, but two days seems to be a little on the optimistic side for it, which has caused me some problems. But I wish I would have went with the West Marine epoxy. I think in the other video I said a lot of people recommended Weathers epoxy. I had the name wrong. It's West Marine. And so I'm going to use that on some of this project, I think. Um, problem is, is, it's the 4th of July, so if you hear some fireworks going, that's beyond my control. Um, but the epoxy said it wouldn't be here till Monday. i got to go back to work for six days on Tuesday, so I'm trying to wrap this thing up as quick as I can. So I'm ready to do some epoxy now, so I'm going to start tomorrow with the front cap with what I have um, because I figure... At least let it dry till Monday. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I got the other coming, which I needed it for another project anyway. So, the basic steps to doing this are simple. So, the first step is you have to take all the trim off and clean it, the area well and all that. The second step is you're going to want to wrap your fiberglass with plastic. I didn't do that. It shows. I didn't think that I would make a mess. Well, it's run down the outside of the camper so I got an old camper it's not really a big deal for me but if you especially if you got a nice camper you don't want to do that you want to tape plastic around there and the next step would be to mark off the delamination um, just with some tape or something so you know how big there is because it's really hard to see when you're like in there working on it okay and so you know, take a, a stick or something, a real thin piece of metal, and stick back in there. See how far that delamination goes back. And just kind of keep an eye on that for visual reference. Okay? And the next thing that you're going to want to do before you mix the epoxy up is you're going to want to formulate a clamping system. You have to find some way to put pressure on that for it to hold it while it dries. Now, purposely, the epoxies that you're going to want to use for this aren't quick setting epoxies because you don't want it to set up before you have time to get everything started. So basically what I did is I used some 2 by 4s and I clamped them in the window and then I actually screwed the ends to the aluminum frame. Um, but I put two horizontal ones that I just clamped from the window to the, the front of the camper because I had the cap off. And then I put two vertical boards on there, screwed those together, making sure the screws weren't long enough where they would go through the camper. And then I put several more horizontal boards up and down through there. And I'll show you guys some footage of that. Um, but then I also, on top of that, had to use some shims to add extra pressure in there. And like I say, it worked pretty good. Um, I wish it would have worked a little bit better. Most of the area that I have problem with now is on the very edge. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some epoxy back behind there before I put that side piece trim on. And that um, will hold pressure on it and hopefully take care of those weaker areas for me.
And guys, like I say, you want to have that clamping system figured out before you mix the epoxy up. Depending on the area of your camper, it may be really hard to find an area to clamp to. Uh, some people use like a stake in the ground with a board just leaning up on the side of the camper for pressure. That's really, you really want something to be pulling it instead of just sitting on it like that. But you do whatever you have to to get some pressure on there. And one last thing to remember when you're tackling and delamination is to remember that a lot of times it's plywood that the fiberglass is stuck to. And so plywood's multiple sheets of laminations of wood. Um, so in, in essence, it's kind of like this post-it note. So there's multiple layers there. Uh, whenever you have delamination in one area, you may go in there and have to glue it, and it may just be this one layer that you got to glue back together, which is most commonly, I believe, the plywood and the fiberglass. Um, but sometimes you go in there, and there's three or four different areas that you're going to have to go in and glue down, if you understand what I'm saying. So... Don't be too heartbroken if you go put some glue in there and then you notice that it didn't fix the problem um, because you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to glue this one and you're going to have to go over here and glue this one and clamp it down and let it dry. It's just part of the game. Now, you know, anytime you epoxy the delamination, it's not going to be as good as new. Um, technically, that area, if it cures well will be stronger than it probably was when it was new um, and you can get some good results like that but the 100% best way to fix it is to tear everything out and start over I wasn't going to do that so this is my solution this is what I did um, a lot of the video tips that I used when I was looking at this and researching um, came from a great video from RV with Tito I suggest you check them out I'll put the link in my description here. But, you know, that's pretty much the method that I tried to use uh, for this side area at least, and it worked pretty well. Except I didn't follow his advice and put plastic on there. Anyway, uh, to actually inject the, the uh, epoxy, though, what you want to do is get a 60 milliliter syringe, and you want it to have a catheter tip. That's pretty important. I accidentally ordered the wrong one. I work around medical supplies, you think I'd be smarter than that. Um, but you want to get a catheter tip and then you want to get like some quarter inch tubing and stick on there so that it's long enough where it'll reach that delamination. Um, but you're going to have to have something, you're going to have to tape that to like a coat hanger or um, a stiff piece of metal or something that's thin but will you know, have enough stiffness to push it back there and then squirt that out. So Basically, you're going to be pushing it in, and you're going to be squirting it as you pull it back out a little bit. But you want it to get plenty of that epoxy in there, um, and then you know you want to have try to have somebody else like pushing on the side right after you do that, just to kind of work that epoxy in, and then clamp it up as quick as you can. And guys, stay tuned through the rest of the series so you can figure out how we fix this and this. Because this is where we tried to fix it, and it just it just wouldn't work. We was trying to glue that plywood back down. There wasn't any support to glue it to, and it was it's made this way difficult. Um, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and just follow along. And if you have some tips, you think I did something wrong, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it. Somebody let me know that one of the things that I was trying to fix the stupid front cap with. Um, was a bad idea because I didn't know that you wasn't supposed to use pressure treated lumber next to aluminum. Apparently there are chemicals in there that can cause the aluminum to have corrosion, which is a bad idea. So I had to tear it out and start over. So um, just follow along and let me know what you think.